I'm really lucky to be sponsored by Scott and ahead of the biggest bike trip that I've ever done, they've sent me a special bike frame. It's right here. And today we're heading to the bike shop to get it built up. There's a bike on the roof because first step is stripping down my current gravel bike to take all of the parts off it and put on this new frame. Jimmy's here, he's dressed very smartly. You look like you're from a, you're a boy in a posh school. It's just an autumnal tweed jacket, Francis. From a posh school. All people have these in the north because that's how you keep warm when, when it becomes I've never seen autumnal. anyone in one of those. Looking in the wrong places. What, the posh schools? <laughs> This is what happens, you come to Backyard Bike Shop, as a customer, your fix your own bike. <laughs> come on Nick, you've got a customer here, you're going to make him do his own work. Yeah, the kid wants to ride from China to Newcastle, he was so lucky he got no mechanicals, but I mean he has to learn how to fix a bike, because if his bike broke, it's still been China now. <laughs> is that not true, Josh? It's very true. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Old gravel bike has been stripped down. Don't worry, that won't be the last you see of that bike. I have something else in mind. New frame that we're building up today is here. And um, it's a gravel bike, but we're not putting gravel tires on it because the trip that I've got in mind is 3,000 miles and there isn't that much gravel. So, road tires today. He needs to clean his shit because it's got loads of dirt on no, it. No, that's why we're at the bike shop. He has to clean it. No, he doesn't. He I'm doesn't clean bikes. nothing. Well, actually, no, isn't it? He's outside uh, cleaning bikes most of the hun A hundred pounds per, for, for a bike wash. Bike building videos. We don't do bike washing videos. That's this guy. Yeah. Why have you got my friend? Uh, it's a present. I'm, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a present to yourself. Well, that's the end of the day's video, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, what you're going to do now is he's going to be doing his, his cross impression. Better You're going to take this out. As well as my video of the bike build, Jimmy's also doing his own ASMR, all fancy, like, soft music version. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link in the description down below. It'll be like 20 minutes long and loads of, like, close-ups of Nick's face. And me stripping this bike badly. <laughs> it makes you hungry sitting watching a bike build, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Covid. I'm telling you it's going to work. It's supposed to be that way around. The interesting thing is what you're effectively creating is the behind the scenes of my video and the truth, in fact, that all of the bike builds that I shoot with Nick look like we know what, what looks like he knows what he's doing. And then this, this is the sort of stuff that we do this hide. and we get James in the next morning to rebuild the bike. He buys two of everything. And then we take one, one half goes in the bin and James builds the other half. Right, that'll teach me for like greasing the cables first. I've got to ask the question, Nick. What are these? It's James' new tyres. They make me feel slightly ill. Um, alright. Ultimate tan, it's not just tan wall, it's tan, tan tyres. Tan. Do you reckon they're light? Well, it must be. <laughs> There's going to be quite a lot of climbing on this bike trip, so, um, 50 tooth cassette. It's like a mountain bike. I'm going back to you. You're right, Jimmy. Do you need some double A's for that camera? I'm angry about camera on our battery. It's supposed to be professional. Energy crisis, mate. Have you seen what it costs to charge batteries? Only charge the batteries a little yeah, bit. Wow, that's why I plug mine in here. Same. Next day. What happened to the bike build, Jimmy? Well, it didn't exactly go to plan, did it? You forgot parts, my battery ran out, now we're in the woods. I didn't forget parts. I couldn't be bothered to go and get the parts. Because you forgot them, you could, you then had to go and get them and couldn't be bothered. Shameful. There's one rule of bike builds. Get, get, your, you, get your bits together. <laughs> Fear not, we now have a working bicycle and it's in front of us here. Here is a full rundown of all the spec. So frame set is an attic gravel. This is a special colorway for the trip that I'm doing, which will be revealed soon same size frame as the old one small but narrower handlebars so these are a 40 centimeter bar which is more suited to me integrated bar and stem this is the 90 millimeter version as well this bar and stem and the seat post as well are both made by synchros which is the sister company to scott model of the bar is the creston ic sl x which is the gravel version of the aero one that they do on the road bikes really comfortable bar has a couple of centimeters of flare so when you're on the drops you have a slightly wider grip and then on the tops you can be nice and narrow and the right width for your shoulders ideally now despite using road tires i'm still using gravel wheels on this bike they were on there already 
their parkour alters. I wanted to use them because they're a shallow rim profile, so it's easy to find inner tubes that will fit. And they're really wide. I think it's a 25 mil internal. So when you mount 28 millimeter tires, these are Hutchinson Fusion 5 performances, set up tubeless, uh, they sit quite wide. It means you can run fairly low pressure and they're comfortable. Group set is a SRAM Eagle mix. So it's basically a mountain bike group set on the back, mountain bike cassette, which is a, a 10 50 tooth eagle axis rear mech which is wireless and gives you all the benefits of the mountain bike system which should be a bit more hardy then on the front one by 46 tooth sram red chain set which looks very nice the group set uses normal sram red road levers these are the hydraulic ones that's why they've got the big end to them i've gone with my tried and tested cell italia boost slr this has a small fidlock magnetic seat pack holder along with magnetic bottle cages attached to the frame as well bar tape is white there is a reason why it's white all will make sense in a few days time i know it doesn't match anything but i mean it's going to be brown by the end of the trip isn't it this is silka bar tape 3.5 millimeters thick uh, i've never used this before and i'm interested to see how it rides then the last finishing touches what are these called juicy nipples or they're the muck off ones and they're valve covers that have a torx thing on the end which is quite handy for doing up and undoing things but also it's got a valve core removal tool as well I think they're Lazine ones. Lazine, Lazine? Lazine? Yeah. They're not juicy nipples? I don't think so. Oh, that's disappointing. SRAM red brake rotors, 160 front and rear, and that is the bike. Do you like it? I didn't at first. I thought it was absolutely hideous when I first <laughs> saw it come out of the box. But what I've learned from bike builds is bikes always look crap when it's just a frame. Yeah, it's quite and nice. And then when it's it? built up, it looks lovely. I forgot to mention Garmin power pedals and Garmin head unit. But there's going to be lots of stuff added to this bike before the trip, so I'll just have <laughs> sure, to go sure, through it all again. Yeah, surely you're going to have to do another one when it's like in trip mode. Yes. Because it's it's going to be There's going to be the most unique. stuff I have ever put on a bike and some weird stuff as well. It's gonna, I just don't know how you're going to be able to fit four other people on this bike. <laughs> I'm really sorry for being so cryptic, guys, but we'll have to keep it a but secret. this is what you do. This is what I, my favourite <laughs> thing, yeah. <laughs>